You know, I once read that Stephen Hawking, uh, he worked on an escape plan mm. for characters like Merlin and Amy Adams who would be stuck in time travel loops. It was called the chronology protection conjecture. And, and I love that Professor Hawking is so dryly funny that in his 1992 paper presenting the conjecture, he wrote, it seems that there is a chronology protection agency which prevents the appearance of closed time-like curves and so makes the universe safe for historians. So Hawking's paper sounds like a great opening to a movie, but is, is there really something that is the chronology protection conjecture? It, it could be, right? I mean, if you can travel to the past and the future, there are all sorts of potential paradoxes that come up. You've seen them, right, in, 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 in movies, right? That's yeah. what we're talking about here in, in Back to the Future, right? Marty goes back. If his traveling to the past prevented his parents from ever meeting, then how would he ever be born to be there to prevent them from meeting. So right. there's a paradoxical situation there. So how do you resolve that? Well, there, there are many proposals. Hawking's is one. Hawking's proposal is the way you resolve that is you can never travel to the past. The laws of physics. Nobody can ever. They can't ever happen. And that would indeed make everything safe. There'd be no paradoxes. History would simply unfold in one way and that would be it. Now I should say that's not the only way that you can protect the timeline, there are other proposals that people have put forward. Like? Like maybe if you go to the past, you cannot change the past. Even if you wanted to prevent- Kill your, Hitler, everybody wants to kill yeah, Hitler. Yeah, if you want to do that, you, you try to pull the trigger and the laws of physics somehow prevent that sequence of events from ever taking place. And I should say, there is mathematics behind this where people have set up the possibility of time travel to the past in controlled environments, like just a, a game of pool. And they found that you could never have a pool ball go back into the past and prevent that pool ball from going into the hole by which it traveled to the past. There can't be paradoxical situations, at least according to certain mathematical calculations. How, uh, okay. How do you do an how do you do an experiment like that? You well, mentioned this is both a thought math experiment. and okay, it's a thought experiment. Yeah. There there wasn't an actual pool table with a whole bunch of graduate students hanging around it and saying, "Is it going <laughs> to knock the ball out of its own trajectory?" Okay, okay. No, no, this is pure mathematics, but it shows you the power of, of math. mathematics to describe the universe. It can give you insights into the nature of how reality unfolds that otherwise would just be creative musings lacking any real anchor.